The U-Turn Audio was started by myself and my two uh, close friends. We all went to high school together, and we had all been listening to vinyl and music throughout high school and college. And one day, I went to look for a turntable and couldn't find the one I wanted for the right amount of money. And so I started to think about what it would look like if I made my own. I just graduated from Northeastern University. U-Turn Audio had been a senior design project for me and I was also involved with the entrepreneurship program. And we got a grant to start building a turntable and we pitched it on Kickstarter later that year. And we sold about a thousand turntables to our first customers. Our mission from the beginning with U-Turn Audio has always been the same. And we've always wanted to create great sounding audio equipment that is accessible to everybody. We're actually the largest turntable manufacturer in the United States by volume. The tone arm is basically the heart of the turntable. It's responsible for so much of the actual audio production. And uh, since the beginning, I've been designing our tone arms for the Orbit turntable. And we wanted to simplify what we had already by taking multiple components and forming them into one solid piece. And that helps with lowering resonance and generally creating a more rigid and better performing tone arm. We chose magnesium for a tone arm because it was a great material. When we went to look for a magnesium supplier, there weren't very many options, but we saw Philips Metasize and they were really great to work with. The work with U-Turn Audio was a great collaboration as they involved us early in the design phase. They were open and, and accepting of the design assistance that we offered, and together we were able to develop a solution that made a great product for U-Turn Audio. We worked very closely with the project manager at Philips Metasize to help look at where the challenges would be and to figure out solutions for them. The reason that this part was so challenging from a production standpoint is because of its super high complexity. Um, not just a simple open and close mold, we had to incorporate a hydraulic core pull to allow the long slender core to create the hollow diameter of the stem. It was very thin wall thickness throughout the length of this stem. And then with the you know, super high heats and super high pressures that are required with the Thixel molding process, it was thought to be extremely difficult to be able to make all of that moving detail work together at the same time and produce a, an acceptable part to the customer's requirements. The new magnesium arm tubes, they're far less prone to scratching, which can happen even with the most careful handling in the, in the, in the assembly process. As far as the inspection and the quality control procedures that we go through, it just comes down to the design of the arm tube being fewer pieces total that expedite that inspection process. You reduce tooling costs, reduce supply chain, you reduce assembly time. Ultimately, total cost of the product is reduced. The Philips Metasize team was just very enthusiastic about working with us. Even though it was a, a different project for what they're used to working on, they were on board with making a part for a turntable, which is really important. When we go to work with someone, we want to make sure they want to work with us as well. And Philips Metasize seemed willing to make a great product. Very proud of it, and we're really happy with how far we've gone.